how they used to transport stuff up I and down that. the river. The lake, right? But like why are they like going up? Well, it's a way to see a bit of history. Yeah, this is all cargo. Oh, who still uses a stove like this? Oh, not. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling And it's always muggy. Yeah. yeah, and it's all wrapped up in a crate, so they would be delivering this stove to somebody. Now we're getting into all the produce in the... In the uh, China. We've got apples and pears and cherries all being delivered. Eat the apples. Pacific milk. Oh yes, the cook storeroom. And those big things there, those that would be for ice. Whoa. So they keep that whole room cool. And then this is the express room. So that's where the mail was kept. And they it looks like they're delivering a truck to somebody. A truck full of chickens. Live chickens. Oh, the galley, Molly. Here's where the cook here's where the cook works. Lots of fire hoses when you're working with coal and steam on a wooden boat. That makes perfect sense. Cabins. The Pitman Arm. And the port engine. Dynamo, which was the ship's generator. This would make electricity for the ship from steam, powering all the lights. So cool. The electrical control box.
sometimes unusual task which is assisting a woman in labor fell to the purser. And there's his uh, Morse code. Mm -hmm. yeah. This code key. This typewriter. Then how could they be light jackets? Stewards. Four guys in that one little room. Oh, look at how short the beds were. Yeah. Cigar boxes. Mm hmm. They're just gorgeous. Are we going up another level?
Yeah, you would just stand up here and... And this is where you put your orders in. So like what? Big Mac. Big Mac. It's a good long arm grab just to get two, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then it's all chain driven. So as you're spinning it, those that chains... Whole, that whole 10 and 2 thing. Yeah, is pretty difficult. It's more like 11 and 1. <laughs>